able to, after much effort, get one or two persons who will be who will try to relieve the experience here uh, at the Port Harcourt Pleasure Park, where the official commissioning just uh, took place. And we have the chief whip of the River State House of Assembly, Evans BP, who is uh, going to describe what this place represented in in River State and uh, what it is today. Thank you for talking to us. You are welcome. Mm. Yeah, well, uh, I will, I'm coming from the angle of uh, uh, legislation. I say legislation, I must frankly say that governor, our governor has done perfectly well within these few years. Uh, we have seen several governors, but he's a governor with a difference. He came with a passion to assist and develop the river state in, in its own way. Uh, this is the first of its kind. I have not seen this type of edifice. This is the very first of its kind. And this is going to showcase river state in another, a different perspective. Of course, some governors say river state is not peaceful. But by the time uh, tourists will come around, they will know that river state is very peaceful to, 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 to stay. If, in fact, that is one of the issues people have raised, yeah. that where this place is located, yeah. there might be some form of security challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think so, that there will be a security challenge around here? Yeah, before now, uh, every reverse man and woman knows this place as a... Uh, I'm, 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 I'm Robert Dan. But despite the... the the security, the body camp we have over there. Here used to be a very bushy place. But I don't know the initiative it has to convert this place to what, what we are seeing today. So everybody is very happy. We are very happy to, uh, to see that we'll be able to chase out all the armed robbers that normally stay in this place. So we are very happy with the governor. Mm. Mm, they are very happy. And of course, uh, tourists that will come around will know that River State is very peaceful compared to what other governors, those governors used to say that River State is not a place to stay. River State is very peaceful. They should come around and see that River State has turned to be... We can compare River State to be, to, to be Dubai. So we are very happy. Okay, thank you very much yeah, uh, for speaking with us. Yeah, and we hope that um, you would enjoy yourself and bring your family... Of course, um, to... of my family is here. We are going to... Oh, we'll start it. Okay. We'll start my family is here already. We are going to cruise. It's the uh, official commissioning of uh, the Port Harcourt Pleasure Park. We just want to direct your attention somewhere, uh, if my cameraman will help me. Uh, that is the artificial lake. Uh, that is where uh, some persons say they would like to unwind, um, just to take uh, a pedal boat you know and and move around it has a water fountain uh, attached to it so that um while you are doing the the floating on the artificial lake you would also have the privilege of um enjoying that view um, as it is now we also have the speaker of the river state house of assembly um, a gentleman that I've tried to learn how to pronounce his name over and over again. Please, come, sir. Um, thank you for joining us. Thank we you. know that you've been a part of this uh, project. Uh, you knew what uh, it was before it started, what it is at this time. Uh, so tell us how you feel about it and what you think this represents for uh, the people of River State. It, but uh, before you do that, please introduce yourself because I'm not sure I'll be able to do justice to the pronunciation of your name. Well, thank you so much. I'm Right Honorable Likunyo Wajibani, Speaker of River State House of Assembly. And uh, what we are witnessing today, for me, is freedom for rivers people, is liberty for rivers people, and of course, we are beginning to own what we have. For us to be here today at the instance of His Excellency and this government, Governor Yes, who is a one week, for River State to be experiencing the type of development that we are having today. We first, we are thankful to God and at 50 that we are beginning 
to secure justice. We are beginning to secure freedom. We are beginning to fight repression. We are beginning to own what we have. Today, the Pleasure Park is a symbol of development in terms of quality. What life the people of River State and even residents who are not from River State, what life they are going to enjoy. The benefit that is derivable from this Pleasure Park is enormous. I will say and I will challenge anybody like the remark of the former governor, Dr. Peter Otili, never in history of River State has this been achieved. And today I'm quite happy that Governor Nyeso Mezewawike, who has been so led and propelled by good conscience to do it for River people, as governor of River State, is taking River State beyond where we have been, where we are, and launching River State into the next 50 years, which is the centenary. For some of us who will not be there, and those who will be there, generation unborn, and even the generation that will even live and witness the next 50 years, will also give it to Governor Nyeso Mwike that today in history, a place will be given to him and all his lieutenants, including the other arms of government, to have brought this to bear. Are you concerned, for example, that uh, the states or the condition of this park um, should be maintained in terms of ensuring that uh, it keeps this good, good uh, outlook um, it doesn't deteriorate over time. Are you concerned about that? And what do you think should be done? Well, for me, I, like the governor said in his remarks, that Julius Vega is going to manage this facility. It is my opinion as well, out of good conscience, to also say that there, will be, there can be a review, a mid-term review, a long-term review, as to see whether government and reverse people are willing and they are now good enough to take over from Julius Bega. Where the need does not arise, because government is not a good manager, where the need does not arise, Julius Bega and any other company in that matter that can actually maintain this facility, take it beyond where it is today. I believe that should be the way government should go. And I believe that government, having put this facility in place, is not anticipating any decay. And if you would listen to the governor and very well, you will know that he has a mindset, he has a dream, he has a vision for this particular facility. You know, pleasure is an aspect of what philosopher kings refer to values that can actually take society beyond where society is for you to achieve quality, where there is no recreation. And of course, the leader who is in position to take decision on behalf of the people and to act on behalf of the people cannot do well where he doesn't or he or she doesn't recreate. This is a masterpiece. And for me, history will have it in our favor. Governor Yes Wike will also have a place in history that this particular facility will not go the way of other facilities before it's uh, becoming the governor of River State. I believe the necessary backings should be given to Julius Bega. Beyond that, at any point Julius Bega is handing over, we should be able to do a reassessment, a reappraisal, to see whether those who are coming to take over to manage this facility are fit and proper to manage this facility. Let me tell you this that before now, though not in this magnitude, all over the world, all over Nigeria, you have had government putting up one facility or the other, but over time, they phase away. But I want to tell you that this facility, I'm so happy, the Eighth Assembly, the River State House of Assembly, is quite happy to be associated and to be counted amongst those that will have brought this to bear. All right. Well, we, let, let's move away a bit from the Pleasure Park. Uh, we see that you have a good representation of your people here. I'm talking about the River State House of Assembly. And um, well, under your watch, we observed that uh, not so much, well, not, not, a, not a news of trouble. No news of trouble has come from the River State House of Assembly. Um, tell us... The secret. The, well, you call it a secret. Tell us why that is. Well, for me, you know, to you, the print and electronic media, as well as uh, other media formations, you know, when the news is a bad one, 
it makes news. But when the act is a good one, it doesn't. I want to say, given the benefit of hindsight, we have this seen... This is news we are making for you. Yes. I introduced you to the fact that uh, we observed that it, it appears proceedings have been peaceful, okay, so you give it to the media you, as yes, well. I'm also giving it to the media on the other hand. But you know, it is necessary for me to lay a foundation that I can actually launch my argument. You see, the Eighth River State House of Assembly is premised on justice. On assumption of office 2015, precisely May 30th, I laid the foundation that the Eighth Assembly will run its cause, its legislative business on justice. And when you go to, you go to seek for justice, you go with an open arm. And again, I told the Assembly on that day and the whole world that all wrongs committed against our persons will be forgiven, but all infractions against the state will be remedied. Therefore, if the foundation is just, it means anything that is unjust is not just. That is why in the Assembly today, an assembly of two parties, the APC and the PDP, you will find out that the members are comfortable because of the managerial skill that the leadership, especially as symbolized by the Speaker, has. It is my hope and my dream that we are reverse people. The corporate interest of River State is key, not selfish interest. That is what propels us. That is the vision of the Eighth Assembly. That is the dream. That is why you can see all members, there is no big ring. At any point we are doing anything, everybody follows suit. That River State, the corporate interest, must be taken beyond where we are. We are not an assembly to destroy. Thank you very much indeed. Thank it's my you, pleasure. Mr. Speaker. It's my pleasure. Well, there you have it. Um, this is where we'll begin to uh, call it a day on these uh, live broadcasts. It's been the uh, live broadcast of the Port Harcourt, the commissioning of the Port Harcourt uh, Pleasure Park. And I'm sure we've been able to show you a lot of the facilities here. Someday, we hope that uh, some program will bring us here again, especially when we want to assess uh, what the states of the facilities here will be as of the time. We want to thank you for staying with us and staying with Channels Television. I'm Emmanuel Iri. We hand you over now to Lagos for our regular programs. You've been watching a live Channels Television event.